Hey everybody, it's Malcolm here with Alpha Athlete Training and Coaching. And I've got a quick video for you guys, just a, a couple, a, a drill and um, some technique tips on perfecting or working on your kettlebell snatch, okay? And so the kettlebell snatch is the movement where you're in that swing position and you're popping it up all the way up overhead, okay? There's a couple common problems that I see. One is somebody just turns it into a continuous swing from, from down here all the way up overhead. And what ends up happening when you do that is the kettlebell rotates around, slams on your forearm, and people get nasty bruises on their forearms from the kettlebell snatch, okay? So it's not a swing, okay? A couple key things as far as the movement goes. You're popping your hips and you're initiating just like a single arm kettlebell swing, but then you're doing a little bit of a high pull. What you're doing is as that kettlebell is coming up, you're pulling that elbow high, Okay, and then there's a point in the movement where the kettlebell kind of becomes weightless. Because of that hip pop and that pull, okay, that kettlebell becomes weightless. And at that point, you want to loosen your grip a little bit as that kettlebell is coming up. And then you're lifting the kettlebell with your arm. You're basically punching your hand through and lifting that kettlebell up. And so I'm going to show you kind of three movements that I would tie together to make that kettlebell snatch work. And so this is a drill that I like to teach when, I'm, when I've got a group class and I've got people doing these kettlebells, uh, kettlebell snatches, I'll have them do these three motions. It's a kettlebell swing, <coughs> a kettlebell high pull, and then the kettlebell snatch. Okay, so if you're practicing the kettlebell snatch and you're learning how to do it, before you do any snatches, I would do these three, this combination, probably four, five, six times, just to kind of prime your body, get your body used to the movement and get your mind thinking those three different motions. And so the three different motions, you've got the hip pop here, okay, and you're swinging that kettlebell up, okay, that's your first part of the motion. And if you don't have the single arm kettlebell swing down, don't try the snatches yet, okay. And so the second one, you've got your swing, and you're going to do the swing high pull. So what I'm going to do is pop my hips and bring that kettlebell and elbow up high, okay. And there's a point right about here where that, here, where that kettlebell feels a bit weightless, Okay, and then from there, what I'm going to do is, again, as that kettlebell comes up, I'm going to loosen my grip just a little bit and let that kettlebell start to drift, and then I'm going to scoop up underneath it, bring it right up overhead. So here, pop those hips, high pull, high pull, punch. Okay, here, all the way up. Now, as you probably notice, that, move, that motion is a little bit abbreviated. As I come up, I pull and then scoop. Okay, I'm not going to bring my elbow all the way back, but when you're, when you're practicing it, that high pull, I want you to really exaggerate the motion because we'll always do a little bit less than how we practice when we're doing the full technique. Okay, so if you don't practice that high pull, you're not going to get it in close. And you want that kettlebell moving up your body. So one more time, swing, swing high pull, Pop, pull, punch, right there. Pop the hips, pop the hips and pull, pop, pull, and punch all the way through. If you guys have any questions, put your comments, put your questions in the, in the uh, comment section below. And I hope this helps, guys. And as I always say, think strongly, attempt fearlessly, and accomplish masterfully.